<laughs> Alright, how's it going everyone? I'm Glokaze. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to unlock Kunochi. I am sorry if I butcher this, but Ninja Amy. Help Amy learn the way of the ninja. And here we got the event over here. Little nice area with the Sakura trees and there's Amy kicking. Excuse me, I wasn't going... Okay. Hello. Hi. Hi, Amy. So she's just kicking this this uh, thingy. Um, she's a yellow belt currently. That's like the second rank. <laughs> if you know Taekwondo, it's like the second rank. Um, so she's a she's pretty much a noob. Here's the event Shinobi Strike. Since I spotted Master Espio practicing new ninja techniques in a secluded area, as he is concerned about the current anomalies in the world, I've been learning the principles of the ninja lifestyle. I'm interested to hear what he has in mind. Let's train together. So here is the event. Um, unfortunately, and I say this with the bottom of my heart, I hate scavenger hunts and what we have today is a scavenger hunt event. So what we have to do is collect 150,000 ninja scrolls. Great. So as usual with these scavenger hunts, the best parts to do it at is Green Hill, Lost Valley, and Hilltop. Um, but the best thing is that they added this fun little area over here that has railings. Yay. So here's one railing. Um, you can't really switch railings in this game, which uh, kind of sucks. Um, so you kind of have to manually switch unless I'm doing this wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm, Oh wait. So do I just jump? Wait, do I just jump? Oh wait. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. Those railings are pretty cool, but I just wish there was an actual way for me to actually like switch railings. Oh, nope. Um, ooh. I can tell this was inspired by Sonic Frontiers though. This is definitely inspired by Sonic Frontiers. Like you could tell. But they added those cute little railings right there for you to like grind them. Um, ooh, can I get on this? Yes, I can. Um, so yeah, they pretty much just added a, like extensions, I guess that's what they would call them. Wait, let me see what this one's at. Uh, okay. Let's go on this one because we have not gone on this one. If I can get on it um it's a little slow but that's because i'm not going that fast but this is i think this is the longest one out of all the railings but i mean let's be real it's still like scavenger hunts uh but the best part is it is a two-part event which means that next week we're going to be getting our first original skin since sonic the where i don't even know if i should count sonic the warehog as an original skin i have no i think was jet the which skin was the last original skin that they added to the game. I'm not even sure what the last original skin was. Let me know in the comments down below what the actual last original skin was besides SBO, Sonic the Werehog. I think Rouge, maybe Rouge or Jet the Hawk. I'm not entirely sure. Something like that, but that, this was pretty cool though. I'm not even going to lie. This railing system is pretty cool. I, I can definitely tell they drew inspiration from Sonic Frontiers. But essentially, that this is literally all you have to do. You just got to kind of have to grind you just kind of have to oh oh i see okay I, I see how the railing system works though so you kind of just have to start over he, over honestly i'd start over here if you want to go all the way if anything kind of just takes you around it's pretty cool i'm not even gonna lie pretty cool um but it doesn't change the fact that it's a scavenger hunt event which pretty much sucks i don't like scavenger hunts events but then again with every scavenger hunt I believe that there will be a great update after that. So fingers crossed that next week's update is actually very good. Considering, I'm not even going to lie, the updates that they have like actually like, you know, worked on that are actually good. So it's like the laser tag or not laser tag, but the tag one, that one was good. Wait a minute. I just processed this. Where is tag at? Did they tag? Wait, no way they took tag out, right? Hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a second. Where did they put tag at? Where did they take tag out already? No way they took tag out already, right? No way. Okay, no, they didn't. I I'm tripping. Okay, they just moved. Okay, so if you guys were wondering where the cyberspace is, it's actually just moved like where the rest of the teleporters are, which is very nice. I got I got scared for a little bit. I was like, um, oh, uh no don't remove the tag please i actually had a lot of fun playing the tag i'm not even gonna lie um, i hope they add more maps for tag though i wish i hope they do because honestly i hope they do like a sky sanctuary theme next since considering that the the tag is like uh cyberspace i hope that they do like a chemical honestly they could do chemical plant next because they already have the textures for chemical plant that, that's actually something they could do and they should make the map a little maybe mm, i don't know if bigger would work 
because the map is already pretty small and it's already hard to get tags especially if there's like not that many people actually playing the game since not that many people actually like i can go into tag right now and there's probably gonna be like zero people playing it which is that's a bit i honestly i think that's a huge problem so unless you're like a youtuber like me or like sonic hub you know like a big youtuber and you're trying to like get like a, a group of people to like actually play look at this there's like how many people are even in there there's none there's one person in there oh there's there's two there's literally two people in there of how many there's like yeah there's 16 people in the lobby so that's a, that honestly that's a huge problem in my opinion like literally only i wouldn't say only youtubers but primarily youtubers and people that have an audience are the only ones that actually can run these full games of tag which honestly that's not even a dev's fault honestly like i i literally can't blame, how do you blame the devs for that that's literally like a player's choice to go in there like if like 16 people don't want to play tag then they're not going to play tag because there's so many things to do in the game already so there's no point to play tag unless you're like grinding the skin or you're a youtuber that wants oh hey guys let's play tag which it is fun don't get me wrong it is fun it's just so unfortunate that not that many people play it and i don't know what system they would implement i really do think they should add more maps for this though it, it, i think it would benefit the game a lot um hello oh i see okay so you can okay so it looks like frontier sonic is actually going to be a permanent skin as well i just realized i was like detective tales i don't think he was pregnant because i i didn't think that detective tales was going to be permanent but it's just the frontier sonic thing but yeah that's pretty much how you unlock kunochi i'm hoping that i'm pronouncing this right please correct me if i'm wrong i'm gonna say let me let me read it let me read it let me read it <coughs> kuno ku, kuno ichi wait kunoichi is it kunoichi kunochi kuno it could be either be kunochi or kun kuno okay bro <laughs> whatever it is ninja amy whatever that's pretty much how you unlock her um, you essentially just honestly I would say oh discipline and practice are keys to reaching our full potential okay cool uh, but essentially that's how you unlock uh, ninja Amy it's really easy all you have to do is literally collect stuff at Green Hill honestly it, like I said before the best places to actually do this in is Lost Valley Green Hill or and or Hilltop um, I haven't actually been in Hilltop um, it's pretty awkward to be in Hilltop and the testing server because this is the testing server if you guys didn't know but this is the testing server so i mean you get a lot from hilltop so honestly i'd recommend hilltop but i do like there's still performance issue with hilltop like i don't know if you guys saw that but my thing pretty much lagged right there um but you get a lot from hilltop alone so if you actually do want to get this quickly i definitely uh, suggest hilltop first and then green hill and lost valley but green hill and lost valley i only say those just because they're right next to each other and you can just easily like switch from one world to the other world but Hilltop, you just get so much. I think I just got like 10,000 uh, ninja scrolls. I'm pretty sure that's what they're called here. I got 10,000 ninja scrolls. Yeah, jitsu scrolls. Okay. Let me know down in the comments what you actually think is going to be the SBO update. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you unlock Ninjutsu Amy, Jujutsu Amy, Ninja Amy, Kunochi Amy, whatever you guys want to call her. I apologize for mispronouncing her name. But yeah, that is all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more content. And see you guys next time.